Good morning, y'all. I'm gonna make a quick video. Um, this is before school, and my kid's school starts in like two hours, but I gotta, anyways, I gotta get this quick done quickly, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. What I've already done this morning is I've washed my face, and, um, and then I put on my um, One Drop Wonder, which is amazing. I used to have a lot more acne through here, and these have been here for months, and they haven't been healing until I got One Drop Wonder. They're starting to heal, and it's early morning, so I've got some rosacea and stuff going on, and I'm still breaking out, but anyways, One Drop Wonder has helped tremendously. Um, I even put it on something for my husband, and he thought it helped too. So, and it only has one ingredient. It's the hedge apple. So it's an oil pulled out of that hedge apple, which it just makes me feel like, you know, my inner Native American is excited about that. So, the Osage, Osage orange. Anyways, um, so I've let that one drop wonder sit and kind of soak into the layers of skin. And now I am going to apply my perfect glow. It's for body and face. And I just think it makes this like luminous look under my makeup. So it's kind of my little primer and, and it's moisturizing. So it's my moisturizer and it gives me just a little bit of a golden glow. And this color is gold. It's the middle color. So, and I've put it on my legs and stuff after exfoliating and shaving and uh oh yay <laughs> my neighbor makes stuff and he just pulled out with a trailer full of the stuff he makes so that's awesome it's headed to be sold and used so cool anyways okay so i rub that in and then with my free 150 dollars i earned by reaching my goals um i ordered this four uh, color palette that you can personalize and it's kind of a contour kit for me um, and it is $88 but I'm telling you a little bit goes a long way especially after you have a couple things of moisture already on your skin and I think this is number I, I went like hmm, one three four I'm not exactly positive on the numbers but if you guys want me to help you with a palette, I know what numbers are good for what. And so this color has a little bit of pink in it. Not much, but I uh, mix it with the yellow to cover up my red. So it kind of gives me this base coat to start my painting. Because I feel like I'm painting my face. So I just kind of cover stuff up. My rosacea, this... Um, like yellow color is gonna be good for that if you have um, rosacea or any other redness to your skin. My skin seems to always be red after I wash it and put my moisturizer on, so I can just expect it to be. But I have yellow undertones, so yeah, anyways. I'm a combination of stuff. I don't know if you can see what that's doing, but it is amazing. And then this light one over here is gonna like make my eyes pop and give me that bright lifted face look. I kind of just do this one a little bit all over and then really target those um, red spots or blemishes. And I probably got my sleepy voice because I am not fully awake. I'm still sipping on my coffee. I got up at six and checked on our new chicken coop and the chickens and they seem to be doing great. I think they're happy. They're not squawking in confusion. They were for a little bit, but okay. So here's that lighter one and I'm just gonna Put it all around my eye. And this is the number five um, blender brush. And it's small and it's so soft. Um, so I could just be massaging my face with this for a while, blending this in. 
and it would be totally fine. Okay. Oh, it's hard to use the phone mirror. I need a big Reiki, which is a light up mirror that you put your phone right in the middle of it. So you're like seeing yourself all the way around the phone. Okay. So now I'm going to go with this dark and I kind of pay attention to how much I hit that with the brush because you can get out of control real fast. But the good thing is it does blend very well. So I'm going here. I have a lot of shape on the edges of my hairline. So I kind of use that as my judge. Come down to your um, corners of your mouth, chisel out your chin, just to give a little shadow look on the edge. Take away that double chin which I have been working out, so my double chin is going away on its own. Well, not on its own, it's hard work, but it's worth it. I feel better, I feel stronger. I do have a heart monitor on, but I think that's because I've been pretty stressed. It has nothing to do with my workout. And actually a doctor was like, no, that is actually good for you. So keep doing that. And if you want to know who I'm working out with, it's the Weldon Wellness in Nixa. It's out of her house, and it's the TRX straps. And I do uh, yoga on Friday mornings to get a good stretch in. And I meditate on the Lord's Word when I'm doing that. Because I know who my maker is. Okay, so that's contouring. So you can tell I'm pretty shiny. I'm going to hurry up and just because my house is a mess. I had a garage sale this weekend. So preparing for that and then having the sale and having everything pulled out and unorganized. I'm about a week behind on what I want the house to look like. So my mornings consist of my morning time with the Lord. Uh, I do a little bit of Lime Life online and just make sure I'm keeping up with my friends and algorithms and fun stuff. And then um, obviously I put my face on and then I clean my house until it's time to get the kids up. So dishes or laundry, but now I have extra chores. The garage sale was awesome. I got to talk to a lot of strangers <laughs> who are now like my friends. So, actually, we are friends. I, I have a friend request from one mom who um, my son and her son just played for a solid half hour while she was shopping. And it was so cute. So, Ronan met a friend, and he, that's exactly what he needed. Homeschool virtual kiddo. And his friend was so sweet. He said, I miss you already when he was leaving. We will get together again. So we exchange numbers. Okay, I have three Lime Life eyeshadows. I've got the blue, and I'm going for more natural today, so I'm not gonna do blue. I have the slate, and then I also have this bright poppin' orange. Um, I'll use a little bit of the slate, but then I am just gonna use a different brand of shadows because I don't have all of the shadows I want yet. I'm working on it. So I'm just gonna touch in my V here on, down the side above my lashes and up. And I'll tell you, I got the new waterproof mascara and it was really rainy yesterday and I went to church and church was awesome and I kept tearing up for joy and there's allergies outside. So I was constantly wiping my eyes and you know, I was being real careful cause I'm so used to no waterproof mascara, but I got home. I thought I'd be talking to people with like streaks, you know, I was thinking that when I was talking to people and when I got home and looked in the mirror, everything was still in place. I couldn't believe it. I was like, oh my gosh, 
And I actually think my lashes look longer with the waterproof, and I'm not sure why, but maybe I just got them curled good yesterday. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in, I just use a little wedge brush to do that V, and it's just sitting on there and it's pretty bold. Now I'm gonna go in, I don't know if you can see, oh yeah, so I have all these from just years past working in makeup. I have a lot of shadows. This is a nice palette. So I just went for like a light pink and I put that right there. I don't want to tell you the name because it's not the company that I am working for. So I know that Lime Life has a similar color like this. My friend Brooke, who I call a friend, I have talked to her before, but we've never hung out. Not yet, maybe sometime in life. But she is a kindred spirit. She says what I'm thinking, and I agree with a lot of things that she believes, and so she's a cool mom. Anyways, um, she did a makeover the other day uh, using a pink like that, and it was from Lime Life. So I know they have it. Okay, and speaking of that waterproof mascara, it's actually still on, because I was so tired last night, I didn't take my eye makeup off. So I'm just gonna curl over what the remainder is going on there. I did not use my priming spray before I did my concealer. And, um, I am still going to use the setting spray though. So setting spray, your makeup lasts up to 16 hours. So I did my translucent powder to set that sheen. Then I used bronzer to give me a little bit of highlight that's bronzy. And then I used my blush and then I did my shadow and I'm going to do my brows in a minute but I'll go ahead and spray this over all the powdery things I just did. Okay. Um, let's see what else. Okay, yeah. I don't have the um, brow pencil yet, but I'll be getting it soon. It's probably something I'll order this month. I try to just like pace myself on purchasing Lime Life, but at the same time, I want to try stuff. So um, I did get that 150 in free product, and then I watch for any sort of, you know, sales or special deals that they're doing here and there and try to get those products. So I am purchasing at a discount. And then I also get credit for that sale if I don't buy it wholesale. So it helps increase my own goals. And um, so that's kind of cool. Uh, I also do, you know, bulk orders for my friends so that I'm paying one shipping fee, kind of like Mary Kay does, and then they distribute out. It's probably different now, but back when I did Mary Kay 10 plus years ago, um, I'd have to meet up with people, which was great because I got to see them. But um, Lime Life, you don't have to do that unless you want to. So I just stick to the girls that are real close to me and, uh, you know, meet them at church or my mom or, you know, my mother-in-law, whoever needs something, my neighbor. Um, and that way I can say hi to them and get them what they need and, and save on shipping. So there are ways of getting products at a cheaper price if you're close to me or if you're watching those deals. And I try to post about stuff when it's happening because I, I kind of feel like we're in a society of people that are looking. They're looking in, they're looking in, they're looking in. I, 
people tell me, I'm keeping up with you on Facebook. And I'm like, wow, I never would have known, you know, if they didn't tell me. So I think there's a lot more out there that, you know, are watching but not say anything. Okay, so I like to um, wet my shadow and make a liner out of it. And I use this wedge brush, and I know Lime Life has one also. But um, I'll just get it a little bit wet. Squeeze that, my goodness. So that was like a brush cleaner. So I just got it wet with the brush cleaner, dabbed it on the washcloth, and then I kind of, I'm silly about stuff. I don't like to make a mess of it. So I try to keep it organized in the corner. And now I'm just gonna put a little bit of that slate liner, or eyeshadow as liner on the bottom to give a little bit of a smoky look over here. And look you guys, it looks like I French braided my own hair. And I've been wanting to do that for a long time, but my hair was so long, my arms would just give out before I could finish holding everything. Um, but I did cheat. I had like a giant wing hanging out over here. I didn't know how to get it tighter. So I just kept braiding and then I bobby pinned that part up, but ah, uh, so fun. I'm getting better at, and my arms are stronger now than they were before. So anyways, okay, I'm pretty much done with my makeover here. I'm just going to put some mascara on. If you guys don't wear sunscreen and you're out in the sun, this stuff is amazing and it's a three in one. So it's gonna be your primer for your makeup, a moisturizer, and a sun protection of SPF 30. And it leaves like a little bit of a white color so you know it's doing its job. Even when you rub it in, your face is still a little bit lighter than it was before. I know two-day-old mascara is actually a legit thing, and that's happening right now. It's not good on your lashes, but oh, you gotta pick your battles, you know? What do you got time for? Last night, I did not have time to take those off. Okay. All right, so I am done with my makeover. I'll do a lip real quick. This is the Dark Nude Liner, and it has the cool, um, how do you do that? Okay, so you push up, and then you put the lid on, and you take the lid off, and it's sharp. Oh, the other thing I did this morning I forgot to tell you about that's one of my favorite things that I can taste on my lips is this lip scrub. So I have um, pretty dry lips, like they're always peeling or chapped, just coming out of winter and I think it's normal for me, I don't know. Anyways, um, so I take my fingernail and I just scrape like a little chunk out on the corner of my fingernail and then I put it on my lips and then I massage it in and this is a sugar scrub that's basically like sugar and an oil. And so I just let that sit on there for a little while and it totally moistures, moistens up my lips and takes the fluff off. So lip gloss, we do have a lip gloss special going on right now, just today and tomorrow. Um, it's th uh, three lip glosses. There's certain colors, it's smile, happy, and spirit. And they're pretty bright, fun summer colors, kind of as bright as this. I have it in my purse downstairs, but this one is Cupcake and Enduring Lip Liner, and the pairing pink similar um, lip gloss is one of them that's in the special. And then there's like a kind of a, a 
kind of like this, like these three colors, very similar to something like that. So, anyways, I'm gonna put the pink, more nude gloss on with this dark nude liner. Okay, so that's the makeover for today, and I'll post this on my YouTube channel and then share it on my Facebook and maybe Instagram. I don't think so. It's about 20 minutes long, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. Peace out. Have a blessed day. Bye.